we are going to start underneath the deck and you can see that we are right by the joices so if you take a look at the joices right here right where the uh, top deck boards are separated usually that's where the weakest spot is because of the water is going to be just sitting right there and so you want to make sure on the top of that beam it's going to be okay we also have the full beam that cuts all the way over and holds all of the weight for the joists. There's a ledger board. The ledger board is attached to the house that allows the support that's connected to the deck, which is very important. And a lot of times there's water in between the side of the house and the ledger board. So we need to make sure that in between there it's not completely rotted. Now is the time to take a look at the deck boards. You can see just moving my hand here it's pretty bad. If I put my foot there it's uh, flexing pretty bad. It's only halfway on a joist. There's four screws and this is probably the worst spot for a deck board to be on because there's four screws. It's halfway on the joist and since there are four screws a lot of water penetrates in it and it's on an end piece so this is the weakest spot and if someone were to really step here they could potentially fall all the way through and that's just super dangerous and not safe at all here's another great example you can see that the one on the left is more on the joist than the one on the right and it's barely on there it's just moving and flexing not very safe at all you can see underneath here the caissons are still looking good the beam you can see underneath here the caissons are still looking good and then you have the post the bottom of the post is still looking good a little bit of water can sometimes hide underneath there but as we come up that it connects up there these beams are looking pretty good make sure you look at the bottom of the joists and then the tops as well, the top of the joists. The top of the joists is where you'll get all the wear from the water sitting underneath it. That's why this uh, composite wood is pretty good because it does have those ridges underneath and it allows for air to go underneath it so you don't have an entire piece of wood uh, sticking on top of a joist and uh, rotting out your wood. This is a great example of a good solid deck from the bottom all the way up here. Everything is looking pretty set. So your frame and everything is looking pretty good.